Ah, the sea. So fascinating. So wonderful. Here we see the Pacific. Teeming with life. Home of one of my favorite creatures. Sp the MMG Camper. I hate these guys, but to be honest, I'm one of them. And it's not my fault. If the game is designed this way, it's not my fault for playing like this. So whenever you see a prone MMG camper camping in the bushes, ripping people apart with an MG42, remember, it's not their fault. The game is designed this way and it's always a hot topic in Battlefield 5. Are MMG campers OP? Well, it is a very effective way of playing the game. You're a bit of a cunt, but it is effective. And I'm gonna test this out in different Battlefield games to see if it has always been kind of overpowered or if it's a problem only within Battlefield 5. So obviously, because we know how effective it is in BF5, I mean, you can see the background footage, we're gonna start things off with a different Battlefield game. Ah, remember this guys? Battlefield 1. Now, there are no MMGs in this game, there are only LMGs, but they have still, you know, bipods and stuff like that. You can basically still be an MMG camper like in Battlefield 5. And in fact, these are more viable because you can aim down sight, so let's see if it's actually as overpowered as it is in Battlefield 5. I forgot you can spot people in this game. I need to get a little bit closer because the recoil is a little bit too much for that range. Just a little bit, even with a bipod. Oh, I need to... There we go. Oh! Fair enough. Okay, so basically, like I said, you have loads of different LMGs in this game. And the Parabellum is, I think, the one with the highest rate of fire, which is why I love it so much. Now we're gonna use the complete opposite and use the M1917 MG Telescopic. This thing is pretty crazy and uh, just take a moment to appreciate the skin. We got the Escalation skin, which is pretty hard to get in my opinion. So let's do some damage. I'm just gonna fire at some Doritos right there and I get sniped in the face. You see, the time to kill is very slow with this thing, people coming from here. And I'm dead. Okay, that's a good little MMG kill. There's another one right there. I'm telling you, the recoil on this thing with the bipod is virtually non-existent, so you can do some very, very serious damage. You can't climb up the hill, buddy. Okay, this time we are using the LMG 0818. There we go. You had no chance, buddy. I feel like it's kind of similar to Battlefield 5, but then again, in Battlefield 1, you are more easily countered. I don't know if that's true, but I feel like it. Look at this. Instant death. That's a good throw, not gonna lie. There we go. Yeah, it's game over for you guys. Uh, I got overheated. Okay, there we go. That's a good position to be in. That's a nice little flank. Let's keep it going. More people here. Thank God for a large magazine capacity. How did I not get him? 10 health left. And now he's going to revive everybody. Look at the random bullet deviation, you guys. Look at where I'm aiming, look at where my bullets are going. I know you have to keep down the trigger to get more accurate, but this is just ridiculous. Okay, last game of Battlefield 1. After this, we're going to Battlefield 4. Because Battlefield 4 also had LMGs with bipods. There we go. Was a little bit lucky, not gonna lie. That wasn't luck, though. That's just pure accuracy because of the bipod. Uh-oh. I've got something in my front pocket for you. Okay, enough of that. Welcome to Battlefield 4. And in this game, there are also LMGs with bipods and stuff like that. But we're gonna take it to the next level in terms of cheese. We have equipped the silencer or suppressor, whatever you want to call it, 
and a thermal scope. And we are playing on the map Operation Outbreak, which is perfect for the thermal scope. Right, so this is actually what we want to do in this video. Set up the bipod, scan for enemy players with our thermal scope, and then shoot away. Okay, here we go, guys. The bipod mechanics in this game are a little bit less ideal than in previous Battlefield games. There we go. So many targets. So many targets. So many targets. What are these guys doing, honestly? Oh, this was such a mess. But we got some decent kills right there. Ooh, look at all those people. Ooh, okay. This is gonna be juicy. Let's see if we can get him first. Yes, we can. Got some hit marks on that guy. Okay, we got that guy as well. This is a pretty far range, so it's really difficult right now. We got another guy. And we got another guy. Time to reload. More people up there. I got him as well. Did the bipod, I'm telling you, man. That's a kill right there. We got another one. We got another one. Plenty of guys over there. Another one. This guy was just flying in with the parachute. He's low on health. I'm gonna let somebody else finish him off. There we go. And this guy. Also a kill. This guy needs to die. This guy needs to die. Yeah, we're doing some work. Okay. What do we have here? You are dead. You are dead. People over there. Too many. Why can't I shoot through materials? That's so stupid. Come on, let's get a final kill. No, too late. Let's go to Battlefield 5, where MMGs and bipods are king. And here we are, in Battlefield 5, heaven for MMG campers. Oh, look at how cute he is. It's time to die, my friend. The M1922MG is just the king of MMG campers. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that it's overpowered. But we already knew that, right? This is Battlefield 5. A little bit of an elevated position right here. Oh, didn't think I would actually get him, but I'll take it. There's another one, and another one, and another one, and another two, and... Okay, they got the sector, finally. Looks like we have a decent position. Hey, look at that guy. And that guy. Three kills. He doesn't even know his teammate got absolutely destroyed. There's a guy there. There we go. Some easy kills. And considering my minimap, there are a lot more kills for grabs. There's a guy right here. Be careful because yeah I'm compromised I'm dead can we get him before we die yes we can maybe we can get a couple more because they don't see me I think this guy and his flamethrower they didn't see me I'm just crawling around with my MMG don't mind me so many people here look at this okay now I'm going for it no what in the world is going on? Ah! Oh, the other guy killed me. But I think we have proven our point that MMGs, or at least MMG campers, in Battlefield 5 
are pretty freaking annoying, at least in my opinion, but are they overpowered? Well, what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. I think they are not necessarily overpowered, but unbalanced, because you don't have a lot of countermeasures against these type of players in Battlefield 5. And I think the combination of accuracy and rate of fire makes the MMG so effective in this game, way more effective than in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1. But like I said, what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And i see you guys next time.